my name is Samid Farooqi. I'm one of the Pulmonology Critical Care Fellows and I did my residency at OU uh, Health Sciences Center and now I'm pursuing my fellowship at the same institute. Um, my name is Lucy Bates. I am a PGY2 in the Obstetrics and Gynecology Department. We interview through ERAS. Um, you submit your application um, usually in the fall and then interviews go out a little bit after that point. Um, for us, we do about 60 interviews in our program for about six spots, so it's about a one to 10 ratio. And I think that's pretty common for most other graduate programs here too. Um, and then we conduct the interviews through most of November, December, and early January, and then match day occurs on the 15th of March every year. Um, it was actually very good um, as far as the contact goes. Our program coordinator was very re was uh, very helpful. We reached out to her during our interview process, and she always answered our questions the same day on email, which uh, is not what my experience was at other institutes, and that was probably one of the reasons why I really liked this program. Um, University of Oklahoma uh, Medicine Residency Program is one of the few programs in the United States, I would say, where you have nearly all the subspecialty fellowships available. And not just that, um, there is a great cancer center, there is a great uh, research center, and, um, and there is the university campus along with the Veteran Affairs you know, Medical Center. So it is one of those places where you can do whatever you want to and it allows you to have all the opportunities, which was one of the major reasons why I really liked when I matched over here. So I'm from here originally, um, and so I had I had seen this program since I was like a third year medical student. I liked this program a lot. Um, I tried to decide when it came to interviews if I wanted to try to leave and go somewhere different or if I wanted to stay. And I think getting the big perspective of going to other places and seeing kind of what we had here um, as far as the full scope of we had all four of our available fellowships we had um, we had great facilities we had great resources we had great teachers here and so after kind of going other places and then being able to kind of turn around and look back and see what we had here I was like oh I, I really want to stay here if I can <laughs> I think I would tell medical students at this point, especially when you go to interviews, just be yourself um, because I feel like so much of the process um, is more about fit rather than if you're good enough for a certain program. And so when you go in and you look for your people, like I came and I interviewed and I really felt like I found my people when I was here. Um, and if you kind of make yourself open to finding your people, maybe at your home program, but maybe at other places too, um, and just be yourself in those moments that you'll kind of learn where exactly you fit in those programs. I feel as an international medical graduate is that this place, or University of Oklahoma, is a hidden gem. Uh, it has a very diverse environment and it accepts all people, it makes you feel like it's home, and, and, and you end up feeling like it's your second home. And if you're looking for a place which values diversity at a place that wants you to that provides you with everything for you to achieve your potential, University of Oklahoma is that place for you.